everyone. My name is Marjorie Santil Belazer. Um, I am a visual artist. I am um, a multimedia artist. And I'm an artist that likes to take something realistic and deconstruct it and turn it into something abstract, something beautiful. And that's what, one of the things I bring to the table here. Um, I am an artist in re residence at the Mattahunk Community Center in Mattapan. And here's a great picture of the beautiful site, um, as well as it's the school and uh, the center, which is on the side. Um, I have awesome liens on. They're um, Ernest Hughes and Sam Nicholas. I just want to go back. Again, these are images, again, of the site. Um, it's, again, beautiful landscape. It actually reminds me of the woods of Mattapan because it's in a secure, wooded, beautiful area. Um, the center services um, mainly the Mattapan, uh, I'm sorry, the Mattahunt Elementary School, which um, they service that, um, that area from 7.30 a.m. till 6 p.m. And then the uh, center is open to the community from six to nine. And you'll see some images of different things happening uh, or activities happening at the center. Um, the Mattahunt has been in the Mattapan community for a while, um, but unfortunately it was slated to close. Um, in 2010, Member Nina formed a partnership with uh, Wheelock College uh, to pretty much run uh, the center for six years. Um, but in 2016, um, Wheelock returned um, the MCC to BCYF uh, to pretty much take control of it. And you'll see the sign. I wanted to give you a brief history of um, Mattapan. Um, in the 16th, 16th to 18th century, um, the Neponset River runs to, through Mattapan, and there was a Native American tribe that actually lived there, and they're the Mattahunt tribe. And um, they used to stop and pretty much fish in that area. And because of that, they named that area Mattapan, which is a place to rest, a place uh, to sit. Um, in the 19th and 20th century, um, a large migration of Irish uh, moved into the Mattapan area, and that was because of the potato set, um, famine, and we also had a Jewish migration also due to religious persecution. In the 1940s, um, the trolley service began in, on Blue Hill Avenue, Mattapan, which was great. It gave people more access uh, to move around and also for more people to come in our community. Um, in 1960s, due to the redlining scandals with the banks, et cetera, uh, something great happened um, as a result. African Americans were able to purchase homes and to move into the Mattapan area. In the 1970s, there was a large migration of Caribbean people. Um, in the 1990s, it was a large migration again of people from Western Africa. And if you see, there's um, a, a great sculpture. It's like my favorite sculpture, a um, um, public art in Mattapan. And it's um, three people or um, migrant families with their hands out, basically welcoming people to the Mattapan community. And underneath it, underneath it you'll see um, uh, edge, et, et, oh, excuse me, uh, image of um, the Mattahunt Indian holding fishes. Um, the Mattapan population is largely black, and within that population, there are different ethnic groups, and you'll see the images of the different um, ethnic garbs that they wear during, during festivals in the Mattapan area. We also have um, a, a large Latino, a white, and a Asian community. Uh, Mattapan is a very multilingual community. We have an international uh, supermarket. Um, and if you walk into that supermarket, you want to dance and sing because you hear different languages, you hear different music. It's really great. In fact, that's the only place that everyone in the community actually convenes. And if you look at the lower picture, um, you see a mural. It's a painting of a market. And I think that's a great de um, depiction of Mattapan. Um, we have several churches. In fact, um, the churches in Mattapan were once synagogues, and a lot of them converted to churches. In fact, if you go there, you'll see still the Star of David still etched on some of the buildings. Um, Mattapan has 10 plus ethnic restaurants, and also we host a Haitian Flag Day parade. Um, I, they have, uh, Mattapan also has a new soccer field, um, several um, different businesses, all again from um, the migrant community. Um, with challenges, we have some awesome opportunities for both Mattahunt and, the, and uh, 
the community of Mattapan. I'll start with Mattahunt. One of the challenges we have is that there isn't enough outreach to the community. A lot of the community members don't even know what's really happening um, at the Mattahunt, and I think it's because of where it's located. Again, it's in the outskirt, woodsy area of Mattapan. Um, there aren't enough culturally uh, tailored programming. Since we have a lot of uh, people from different cultures that speak different languages, um, we're working on um, doing programming where it, um, we have translators, et cetera, um, to help the people. Um, there's no art programming. Um, the website needs to be upstate, updated a little bit. It still says Wheelock College if you do a Google on it. Um, accessibility is a tough um, thing. Um, right now, we have a, a bus line that does drop people off close to the Matterhorn, but it comes hour, every hour or two hours. So that makes it difficult for people to come to the center. And also hours of operation. Um, like I said earlier, the Matterhorn is mainly open um, throughout the day for the school, which is 7.30 till 6, but then from 6 to 9, that's when it's open to the community. And that's a challenge, especially for our seniors, senior citizens who want to come out, but it's too late for them. They don't want to come out that late. So if we could change the hours, that's another thing we could work on. And one of the challenges, or many challenges we have with the community is they're not aware of um, MCC status. A lot of them think since it was run by Wheelock, it's just an annex of the school. They don't realize it's, it's, you know, it's a community center for everyone. Um, ethnic groups within the larger community engage mainly in silos. Um, we have a lot of ethnic groups, but we don't do things together. Everyone does their own thing. We walk in the streets together, but that's it. We don't have a, a place together we can convene and do events together. Um, we have no cultural arts district in a neighborhood and no visual performing space for the artist. So my proposal is to rethink and re-envision the Matahan Community Center as an arts and common cultural space while also honoring BCYF's ACES framework. Um, second is to use creative place, pace making principles to intentionally infuse arts and culture into the space to build and create uh, social change and to collaborate with the Mattapan Arts Council and other community organizations and stakeholders. My goal is to create a unique, or I should say our goal, because the center is working together with me on this, uh, to create a unique performing space and gathering um, place for Mattapan residents, arts community, and visitors to continue to implement BCYF ACES framework, to, straight, to strengthen and collaborate with local arts community, to encourage multicultural community engagement, to celebrate Mattapan's rich cultural neighborhood, to create a cultural district in Mattapan to promote local economy and to um, improve um, the perception and narrative of Mattapan. What we've done so far, um, we created art classes uh, for the after, to two after school programs, um, the PACE and the PUSH program. Uh, the PACE is an after school program for K to third grade and the PUSH is from third to fifth grade. And you can see the kids are enjoying it because um, these, most of these kids are from the Mattapan I'm sorry, the Mattahunt Elementary School. And unfortunately, art was completely cut out of their uh, curriculum. So they, many of them get art only at the center. Second, we offered um, free classical string lessons for children in the after school program and the community. And also, um, MCC will have um, its youth chamber music group, which is great. And you could see pictures of the students um, doing a demonstration and also playing their instruments. We also um, did Celebrating Black History. Uh, we had a Black Cinema Week where we uh, showed Black-inspired movies and this images of the students watching um, The Princess and a Frog. Um, upcoming events and projects. Um, Haitian Heritage Month is coming up, so we're planning to do a series of events um, honoring the heritage, and that also will um, be open up to the community so they get to learn more about the Haitian culture. Um, we have several paint nights planned. Um, we also have a community art festival planned um, in June. I wanted to give special thanks uh, to Julie Burroughs, uh, the Boston Arts Commission, Karen Goodfellow, Christian Guerra, um, William Morales, and my awesome Mattahunt uh, team and crew. Thank you.